Hello and welcome back to the Zenotic Jewel Cup organised by Spike, the wonderful man he is. And uh, we've got Wolf Snipe versus Grunt. We're over on Boyle. It's a map familiar to many a Zenotic player. It is the first map in the campaign and Wolf Snipe has just punched himself straight into a wall by forgetting there's a wall there. So we have Grunt and Wolf Snipe, two very good players of this game. Two very uh, strategic, slow players rather than very aggressive, rushy players. This is going to be an interesting one to see. Uh... See how they play. And there you go, look at that straight away. Grunt's knowledge of this map, knowing that you can shoot up that little angle. And, uh... and make it. Yeah, so down from roughly around where Grunt just shot from, you can shoot up into the 50 armor area. 100 armor pops up there. Wolf Snipe can try and do a little trick to get out of there with it without going down. And then you can see that strategic type of play just shooting across rather than taking fights directly. Just sat there spamming, waiting for the opponent to come in to fire. And now they're in a fight. And Wolf Snipe ties it up. Trying to connect some backup shots. Again, floating around to the other side of the map to catch Grunt. Grunt making a beautiful pickup on that item. You can just about get it when you do that. But it's uh, not easy to not fall down. Although if he did want to fall down and try and get away, that's unfortunate for him. But Wolf Snipe playing a very, uh... oh, he's fallen off the edge. Shit. <laughs> Whoops, there we go. Oh, and Grunt has as well. Uh, well, yep, the highest level of Xenotic here, everybody. Highest level of Xenotic. Brush tea twice a day as well. Remember that. Xenotic teaches good life, ha life habits and life lessons. Wolf Snipe, going to pick that up and uh, Grunt. Getting a good shot down into the side. Deals a lot of damage through that floor, actually. That was a nice shot for Wolf Snipe. Incredibly well connected there. Predicting some roundabout movement from Grunt. Wolf Snipe not quite getting that jump again. The first one right at the start of the game just clanged right into the wall. This time didn't quite go far enough. Tends to make the drop down, but Grunt's smart enough to know he can see both sides of that pillar and knows that Wolf Snipe's not gone anywhere, so he's just going to wait until he does come out. Take a nice shot. Get a bit of damage on him. Wolf Snipe getting some splashy damage over to the side. Pick that up. Use the blaster to get moving. That was the key point there where he was using the blaster, just to get moving a little bit. So it was harder to hit. Harder pr to predict. Beautiful air shot there from Wolf Snipe. He might be a very spammy backspam player, but can definitely hit those those uh, air shots when they're needed. Still one to one here. Also, I'm gonna take another frag though over the mega armor fight. Mega health gonna go to Grunt, and he doesn't have any weapons. It looks like cause he's just going at it with the slap with the blaster. Now, can Wolf Snipe manage to connect these shots? He's only just realised that Wolf, uh, Grunt could be up there. A little bit late on the shot up to the uh, up to the 50 armour, but did manage to get a beautiful spawn shot. And that was nice from Wolf Snipe. He was able to get that little shot, not do too much damage to himself, position nicely, and keep himself up top. Now. Wolf Snipe, three to one. Has he managed to get Grunt off the edge? No, it hasn't gone back. The next has a lot of knockback. It is very surprising how much knockback that weapon has when it hits you, especially if you're in the air already moving slightly in that direction. If Grunt had jumped backwards slightly, he would have gone absolutely flying if not for that wall. 
And that's exactly what Wolf Knight's been trying to do for the whole of the game, or twice. And he's managed it beautifully, absolutely beautiful jump up there. Clearly doesn't feel under pressure, because he's able to make these shots, able to do the backwards jump up that little ramp perfectly and land on the other side. Good shot coming out from Grunt, but he's not able to connect as well as he'd like to. Neither player really connecting with anything here. Wolf's out there is incredible battery, isn't it? Around the map, excuse me, yawning. It's not a boring match. I'm just very tired. Very low scoring, especially for Boyle. Usually a bit more of a high scoring map with all the ways you can see your opponent and get in. But these two both, they don't want to take a direct fight. Even though they're incredibly good one-on-one -on -one direct fighters, neither player wants to take a direct fight. They both prefer taking the fights long range. Grunt going to take Wolf Snipe down. Now Wolf Snipe's got to be careful that Grunt doesn't manage to con connect a couple of kills together. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. He heard the bounce, started shooting the Electro, shot it at the exact perfect moment. Absolutely beautiful shots there from Wolf Snipe, putting them into incredibly good positions. Grunt was waiting for him to run out of shots and for those Dangerous mines, pretty much. The Electro mines. To go away. Wolf Snipe not going to get away with trying the same trick twice. But he's going to take a little bit of damage from his own balls there. And a couple of air shots. Gets you a triple kill. Looks like Grunt's trying to get some armor before he gets to it, but Wolf Snipe's pushing a little bit more aggressively now. I'm not sure where this turn of pace has come from, but Wolf Snipe is definitely trying to stop Grunt from stacking up. Instead of playing more passively, letting Grunt stack up a little bit. That was kind of where we were at the start of the game for the first five minutes. Wolf Snipe was in the lead, but he was uh, just... Whenever Grunt would pick up an item, Wolf Snipe would be there to take that amount of health away from him. Grunt, though, playing quite quickly now. Both players have picked up the pace in the second half of this game a lot. Connecting more shots, playing more aggressively, moving in. Which I think is kind of shocked, despite them both doing it and now knowing that's what's going to happen and they need to prepare for that. It's kind of shocked both of them at the same time. Wolf Snipe managed to connect a slap there for 70 damage. Absolutely glorious. We do love a good slapping over here. Oh, and a lovely shot there. And there's nothing Wolf Snipe, uh, sorry, Grunt could do about that from Wolf Snipe. He was in a position, took a big hit from the next, and was already moving towards his next target. Didn't have time to react to it. Popped up on the bounce pad. Nothing he could do about that because he was already on the bounce pad. Wolf Snipe is there to take him down with the shotgun. Both these players using the shotgun really well, actually. Uh, knowing when and when not to use it and knowing how to... How to make the most of it. Like that. Even though it didn't do the final kill, that was the uh, very close range grenade blast. But... Shotgun was in there, quite a bit, quite a bit of damage. I mean, look at that, 69% accuracy on the shotgun. That's it's rare that that happens. Normally you're backpedaling and just spamming shotgun shots for a million miles away because you haven't got anything else to do. Wolf Snipe with three health, he had to go down there. Nine to five though, he's probably pretty set in winning this one, just has to not rush into too many fights. Taking that armor is definitely going to secure him something, and now he can definitely just wait out on the respawn delay. 
Going to hit an impressive, going to hit three necks in a row to round this game out. 10, 11 to 5, sorry, to Wolf Snipe. A very good game. Very close, two very well matched players, very equal, very um, similar play styles. Look at those stats, they speak for themselves really. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. Ta-ra!